Hey there, we're Ben and Jody Hughes, G'day. and it's our great privilege today, just for a few minutes, to tell you all about the importance of having a relationship with God and just give you some really practical keys on how to do that. First of all, we need to know that we were created for relationship with God. Right at the very beginning, if we look at the book of Genesis, the first book of the Bible, we read all about how God created Adam and Eve and he put them in a garden, the Garden of Eden, and he'd walk in the garden and in the afternoon and just have relationship with them. And we were created to have that relationship as well. Now, one of the very first important keys to building a relationship with God is reading the Bible. Now, the Bible is not like any other book. It's the Word of God. It's God breathed. And as we read it, God will speak to us, not just from what's on the page. Sometimes you'll feel like the pages are coming alive to you, that, that words are literally coming off the page. And we'd encourage you a great place to start reading the Bible is from the book of John, right? If you have to look it up in the contents, go there. It's the Gospel of John. It was written by one of Jesus' disciples. In fact, all through the book of John, John, he calls himself the disciple whom Jesus loved, right? And so he, it's, it's his journey with Jesus and, and we read all about what Jesus says, what he does, and it's a great way to start getting to know God. Amen. And just talking to him. We say prayer, but let's not overcomplicate it. Prayer is a conversation with a very real God. And I'm excited for the journey that you have begun because I know that God is a personal God. He talks, He loves you, He knows you. And as you make time for Him and talk to Him, you are gonna know more and more about Him. Like any friend, when we carve out quality, on purpose time for a friendship, it grows. And it's the same with God. As you make space for Him, you're going to know Him more and more. And it's such an essential key. John 10, 27 simply says this, my sheep hear my voice. You are a child of God and you do hear His voice. Let's keep it simple. Make space, make time, get to know Him, talk to Him. It's that simple. Yeah, I love what Jody's saying about just being really real. This is not a religious exercise, it's a relationship with the real God. And it's great to have set time every day to spend time praying, but also throughout the day, just converse, just talk to God. You know, one of the things you might even find yourself saying, like me sometimes, it's like, God, where's my wallet? Where's my wallet? These very simple relationship things with Jesus. Another great way to spend time with God and build relationship is in worship praise and worship. And yes, we do that when we come together at church and we sing, but you can do this at home by yourself as well. Simply find something on YouTube or on iTunes or a CD, whatever. Find some great worship that you enjoy and just begin to sing praises to God. And the Bible says this, it says that God inhabits the praises of His people. In other words, when we begin to worship Him and we begin to praise Him, He shows up. His tangible presence shows up. And so that can just look very simply like just saying things like, God, I give you praise. Jesus, I praise you. I worship you. Thank you, Jesus, for what you've done. And as we spend time doing that, we come into His presence and we, we can sense His tangible presence of God. And that's just one of the real keys to building relationship with Him. Absolutely. And we can't stress enough to you how real and personal God is. He calls Himself God Emmanuel, which means God with us. That means that God's with you in the good days, the hard days, the challenging times, the great times. God is a part of it. Make space in your heart to include God in all that you're doing. Like any relationship again, friendship grows as we include God in our life. Amen. You know, Jesus said when we pray, say, our Father. He is a good and perfect Father. He is your comforter, your healer, your friend. Yeah. Make space for him. I'm so excited because you're going to know more and more about our God, our friend, our Savior. 
Yeah, hey, we just want to pray for you right now. Father, yeah. we just thank you for our brother, our sister, our friend right now, Lord, and their new relationship with you. And we just pray that you'd bless their relationship. God, let them know you in an intimate, fresh, and powerful way. Let them hear your voice. Lord, speak to them as they read the Bible. And God, I thank you that you're going to show up as they spend time worshiping and praising you. And we just speak blessing over you today, friends, in the mighty name of Jesus. Wow. Bless you, friend.